Dusty and Cody. Well, it looks like you got Team weighing in. Dusty and Cody. They have five largemouth. Looks like five really good ones. These guys fish a lot of tournaments. Excellent fishermen. I have a feeling they're going to be in the lead. <laughs> We've had a few teams try to win. Why don't you put those up on there on the scale? All right, let's see what they got. 15.26 pounds. You guys are in first place. How'd it go out there, Dusty? Oh, well, it went all right at first. Had a lot of bites, and they are biting kind of weird. Lost a few fish, and then hooked some up, and we had a little boat trouble. Boat number 19, they got some bass? Bentley and Renardi. Bentley and Renardi. Let's see what they got. That 15 something pounds is in first place right now. How'd it go? Oh, it was tough. Uh, it's slow at first, and we, about one o'clock, we hit a couple. John, of course, did. I just netted. Is he a good fisherman, Bentley? He's the best. All right. <laughs> 13.49 is your weight. You're officially in second place. Good job, guys. They must have good live wells. Come on up, guys. We'll let our weighologist mark the score there. How'd it go, Bob? It was a very tough day, but... 13.82. Uh, you know tough day? Caught fish. That's all I could say. We brought five to the scales. That's what matters. Plus, you guys will have some pretty good points. Yep, yep. You should be right up there after this tournament with those fish, so... You're doing good. Good job, guys. Good job. S stick around. Right now you're in second or third place. We'll see if that lasts. Wow. This is a tough, tough tournament for the Wallace. We have some excellent fishermen who are struggling. We do not have a fish weighed in yet for the walleye side. Marcus! All right, Mr. Peter Hine, fishing with Joe Schwartz. All right, we looks like we have a new leader here. Come on up, Pete. It's pretty nice to be in the lead, isn't it? Yeah, it's about time. It's the first time this year. Um, it was a tough fight out there, Mark. I got to tell you, I put... I got a... 144. We put on about... I don't know, 35 miles today. And it took me until about two o'clock in the afternoon to find the technique. And you always hear how walleyes want to key in on perch. Well, I kind of thought outside the box and I ended up in five feet of water keying in on perch and I popped three fish. And uh, two of them were just outside the slot and we put that one in the boat and we ran out of time. So it was unfortunate for us that we didn't have more time to pre-fish, but there's fish out. Anytime you ever hear about a tough bite, somewhere in the lake, the fish are biting. And we literally put, you know, three, four fish in the boat, even five or six when you include the perch, in less than 15 minutes. So it's just a matter of doing, you know, never give up, you know, so. Got a nice I hear you, man, never give up. Never well, give good up. job. Right now you're in first place, Pete. You're gonna get some good points today for that. Good job, guys. All right, next we have Abby and Brian Schroeder. They are in first place for, place for points right now. These are our points leaders. How'd it go, Abby? It was an interesting day. We caught a lot of fish, but only one actually was the one up, so I don't know. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> one, five, two. What's that? What are they in? First place? First, first place right now. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. Good job. Hopefully that lasts for you. Brian and Abby Schroeder, first place for points. They're leading the points for full throttle. Gardner and God, Gardner, father and son team. Come on up, guys. Nice limit. Oh, well, you got four fish. Five, six, two. Five, six, two. You're in first place. How'd you catch those fish? Uh, we were blighting, and then we, were, then we, like, 20, we got one fish, like, 20 minutes after trolling. How deep were those fish? 1920 on top of the flats. All right, you got them on top of the mud yeah. flats. Okay. Just trying to pick off active one. I mean, they were sitting there all day. They were there Thursday and Friday, and they finally went today. Was well, today a pretty tough bite because everybody else struggled really bad so far that we've seen? It was better for us. 
I mean, we had nothing Thursday. I mean, literally nothing. One keeper yesterday, and then, I don't know, we must have caught 12, 13, 14 fish today. Yeah, better than Very that. cool. Better than the last one. <laughs> well, hey, you guys are doing good. You're in the lead. You're in first place right now. Father and son team, Gardner and Gardner. Give him a hand. Very nice. Come on up with John McKish. Looks like they got some fish. Last year, Mr. Benton was runner-up for Team of the Year. Looks like they got a keeper there. Looks like a nice keeper, too. Today was a tough bite for everybody. What's going on out there? I don't know. It was really tough. We fished very, very hard. And uh, talked to John because I left my boat over in Escanaba. And I talked to John. I said, how long is it going to take to get in? He said, about 10 minutes. I said, how much time do we have to fish? And he said, about two minutes. Boom. It's the only fish we caught all day with two minutes to go. 153. I think that puts you in the top three right now. So that's how tough it is. I mean, it's a tough bite out there. It was very tough. You know, we had a great time on the water fishing. It's a super day. Uh, good cause. We just love to fish full throttle. And fish didn't cooperate this time. Who would think that with one fish you'd be in third place right now? Second. Second place. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to say. <laughs> tough bite. You know, we marked a lot of fish today and threw everything that we had at them and we just couldn't get them to go. This hot weather, I think, sometimes has a has an effect on those walleyes, making them tough to tough to bite. But we sure do appreciate you guys fishing with us. Thanks, Mark. Always Thank class you. act, Mr. Vinton. Thank you very and much. And John, good job, guys. Thanks. Looks like a nice limit of bass. Jeff Wells has fished lots and lots of tournaments. Come on up here, Jeff. Jeff, big show, Wells. <laughs> How'd it go, buddy? Looks like you got a nice bag of fish. Yeah, got a nice bag. You got five? Four and a half. Four and a half, okay. You got to face the crowd, tell them something. Tell them about your adventures today. Uh, we went down to uh, the far south end. We caught a lot on the weeds and uh, basically uh, the dinger. Basically a what? A dinger. What's a dinger? Then never mind. <laughs> I don't even know what a dinger is. That's good. <laughs> All right, I guess the secret. What happened? Big fish. Three, six, seven. Three, six, seven on the big fish. That's a big fish right now of the tournament, so that's pretty good. What'd you catch that big one on? On or where? What? On. The dinger. Oh, a yum dinger. There you go. All right, I get it. I got gotcha. you. So secretive. White spinnerbait. White spinnerbait, okay. There's plenty of those out there. <laughs> What do they got for weight? 1366. 1366. Good job. Top three right now. Nice job, Jeff. Good job. Two fish. Goodale and Goodale. Come on up here, Mr. Goodale. Come on up. Bring those rubber boots up here. You never know when it's going to rain. Hey, that's true. <laughs> How'd it go? I went pretty slow till we have to be. Three pounds exactly. That's, what place is that? Second place right now? First. Must be first. No, second. Second place. Is that second? Yeah. Second place. Not bad. It's a fish. Hey. A lot, a lot got off. Yep. Well, you're beating a few guys right now, so that's good, Mr. Goodale. Okay. Have a good one. Thanks Thank for fishing. Stick around. You might get a check. 